What is up, everybody? It's Matt with Mikey Designs with Shannon the Shop Gnome. Yo! Yo. <laughs> I think it's going to be my thing now. A big, <laughs> a, a big loud yo from... Was that too loud? Shannon the Shop Gnome. No, this is absolutely fine. Okay. Although when I, I did mix your vocals, um, you were just kind of speaking softly. But uh, I thought that was amazing. So if you're just tuning in, we're just kind of waiting for some of you guys to, to show up. <laughs> just tuning in. <laughs> it just started 30 seconds ago. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, bingo. If you're just tuning in, <laughs> we're just waiting for some of you guys to, to show up and come hang out. And we're going to talk shop. Yeah. So uh, how's everybody been this week? There's no response. <laughs> <laughs> I think like we should I, wait. I think we should like, do like at least like a couple I, minutes. Like I said, we're waiting for people to tune in. Come but on, guys. Uh, Where are you? <laughs> well, Rye Beats! Rye Beats hey, always Sam on Jamrock. time. Hey, hey, from Oklahoma. Rye Beats, he's, he's a man who's always on time. He probably was never late for class. Ever. I was always late in class. I was too. I spent a lot of time in ISS or wherever they called it. That was really just to, to finish up my homework, really and truly. My mother was 45 minutes late to her own wedding. Hey, Samuel Views. What's up, Samuel Views? What's up, Rye Beats? What's going on, fellas? No, I, I guess I Rybeat get asked. says he's always late. <laughs> at, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that that sounds like us. We're we're never on time for anything, except for this this show. Uh, um, amazingly enough, we, we're kind of like hi artisan sitting around like okay, we're we're gonna good, go live here soon. Yeah. Good hot and humid afternoon. Oh my god! I yeah, good hot and humid afternoon. I look like Rambo right now, and I smell like a puppy. <laughs> I need a shower. It, we, we were puppy out there Rambo. for hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna school <laughs> Shannon on Rambo. She keeps talking about Rambo, but she's never seen it. So I'm gonna make Rye her beats. watch First Blood. I don't even know what that is. That's uh, that's the first one. Oh, that's the first Rambo. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. Yeah, you okay. don't you we're, don't know what it is because you haven't seen it. Artisan screen printing is in Texas City and says it's miserable. So is it here? And uh, Rybeats has a quick question. Dude, yeah. Okay. Um, let, let's hold on the question. You, you want to hold off on the questions until uh, okay. Rybeats, a few more we will, people uh, tune Yeah, in? we will open up with your question. How's that sound? Okay. When we go, well, when you get to stare at Matt. <laughs> When you get to stare at me, <laughs> we'll, we'll answer your question. <laughs> it's the price you, you to, pay. <laughs> you get to look at my mug while I answer your question. That's what we're waiting on. Thanks, Rabies. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll answer your your question here in a moment, Rye Beats. We're just kind of waiting for uh, all fifteen of <laughs> <laughs> our regular Wait, viewers. No, Steve-O show, said he would show. like tune in. Steve-O, okay. well, please. Steve-O, where, where you at, Steve-O? You, are you tuning in yet? Who knows? I don't even know if he has a YouTube account, but he said he would. So oh, I, I don't even him. think you need a YouTube account to tune in. Well, no, I mean, like, you know, to I chime said, in. Right. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, the, the definitely, at, at least to um, leave some feedback in the chat. Be like, hey, I'm here. All right, for a, a little bit of a background, I've been harassing this uh, this man named Stevo. Um, he's I've known him since I was in third grade, and we've been lifelong friends. And I've been harassing him lately to like tune into the show, and he said he would tonight. So that's what we're talking about. So if, if you're listening, Stevo, welcome to the show. If you're not here. Then Shannon is gonna blow up your your text messages <laughs> and, and annoy it. the shit out of you. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> I'll just spam you. <laughs> She's going to make your life a living hell. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. <laughs> hey, Mark. A little bit. No, actually, no. No, you won't. You're you're uh, you're you're good on that front. <laughs> Artisan says that this is his uh, our first time being able to chat. They've been watching us from the smart TV. 
Oh, really? From the, from the internet. smart TV. Did you hear about us from the Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cool because, you know, they, they give us little stats on, on who's viewing from where. A lot of people are, are just kind of on desktops. No, not, and, not from Jackass. Go on. Sorry. And, I, and then mm-hmm. uh, from, from their mobile phone. And then there's not a whole lot of people that actually are tuning in or that have watched from the, uh, the TV. What, what's it called? What? The I TV, don't know. I, I zoned out. Wh- whatever he just, <laughs> whatever he just said, the TV format. I got very whatever distracted. That, that case is. And Shannon, yes, did you, you have something to, to say? Uh, I was saying we should probably start going live, honey. We are live. Okay. Let me, I mean, uh, you know, let me go ahead and, and kick it over and you can look at my lovely mug here and then we'll get into Rye Beat's question. He Let's go ahead and do it. The mustache. I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, ours in, um, is because Cam mentioned what? us. What? Oh, Cam mentioned us. Oh, well, probably from that thing that we were talking about last week. So oh, they really? Started, they started watching us. That's why Artisan. Oh, well, hey, what's up, Artisan, Rye Beats, everybody that's tuning TFT in? TFT board. I'm Matt with Mikey Designs. I'm sorry. Shannon, oh, the shop gnome, Lord, Lord, over Lord, there Lord. to the other <laughs> side. And why is Excuse the me. phone ringing right now? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get rid of this this uh, stupid mustache that I was screwing around with, with Shannon on about. And um, you have to excuse us. Sometimes we get phone calls while we're doing this this little live chat or this this live show. And so we appreciate everybody that is is tuning in. And so let me go to Rye Beats. Let me take a look and see what your your question was. Let me pull that up real quick. Man, <laughs> I hope you guys can see the, the actual live feed this time. It might be a little small. That's something we're still just kind of fooling around with. And uh, while Shannon is on the phone, let me see what the, what your, your question was there. Rye Beats, quick question. I'm looking for... A printable transfer for shirts. Any suggestions? Um, Rye Beats, when you say a, a printable hey transfer, are you referring to just kind of like a four-color process type of transfer? Let me know in the chat, and uh, hopefully we can we can help you out. Rye Beats says Steve-O from Jackass. No. Yeah, I said no. <laughs> Of course, you know, when he did start taking the name Steve-O, I did wonder about that. Uh, yeah, that's what I immediately think myself when I, I think of Steve-O, but I insisted no. on calling him Steven for, like, years until it, like, just grew on me. But he, um, no, he, he, he doesn't do any of the, the jackass type stuff. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> well, not anymore now that he's an adult. He's adulting these days. He doesn't. He uh, is, and it's weird. <laughs> what's that? He is, and it's weird. Yeah, you know, it's 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 funny how you you grow up, and then everybody. I was watching a stupid little video today where it was uh, uh, a couple of friends, male female, and then they're just like, "Hey, what's up? It's been a while," and they just kind of cross one another and. Hey, we should hang out. We say we're always going to hang out, but we never do. Yeah, how about a week from now? Oh, no, I'm I'm busy. My I'm pretty booked. And then they eventually go on and, and on about just stupid crap like, "Oh, I'm, I plan on having a divorce then tw- 10 years later when we can possibly hang out and you can attend my funeral." <laughs> Anyways, Steve, you better pretty, be at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and hopefully Emily tuned in. I asked her to tune in too, but who knows? I hope so. She said break a leg, so that didn't sound very promising. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's, that's part of printing. growing up. Screen printing. Okay, let's talk yeah. about screen printing. Yeah. So so um, let's see. Did did Rye Beats answer the question I had for him as far as the the transfers go? And I, and I think he all he asked is, is that Shanny? <laughs> <laughs> and really, to be honest, I, I don't have a whole lot of experience when it comes to the uh, the the transfer business, really, because um, it's just something I really haven't dove into a whole lot 
here and that's kind of one of the things i uh harry the the dude that i was trying to partner up with that has the the rock automatic he he has a uh, a transfer machine and sublimation um <laughs> for his his small orders and it we tend to so well oh yeah. <laughs> but we tend to kind of just sub that stuff out even if we're not making a whole bunch of money on it um those little ones and twos if it's not just a one color deal then like what we do with the one color stuff is we do heat transfer vinyl we use our, our plotter and then if it's something where it's full color you know we'll, we'll charge them for our time to design something and then send it out to uh, a place here in town that will do DTG and then we just have them ship it to the client. Although we tend to not really, we take that those type of orders on, but I mean, unless you have a DTG machine or I mean, if you have the, the, um, the, the heat transfers where it's the, the full color stuff, I don't know, that's something we need to look into. And I don't really know that, uh, I mean, we could put it to work, but at the same time, how much do those machines even run? Like 30K, <laughs> I think. No. Yeah, not, a DTG? Not for the, well, a DTG. I'm, I'm talking about they, they have the, the heat transfer um, printers where it, it, you put oh, heat transfer I, I paper on it. I have zero idea about that. Um, Probably somebody could help us out in the comments with yeah, that. Yeah, if, if you could help us learn a little something that'd be cool as well because i can't necessarily say that we know everything so um i don't know something we really hadn't dove in or delve into a whole lot but we do take the orders in no matter what just because um it's establishing a relationship with the client right and if you go above it it's like I keep saying, you know, go above and beyond and all of a sudden you don't know what kind of investment you're making. It's like, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Like you, it could just be nothing. You can make five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever. Or it could be a lifelong client that wants to, you know, just always use you for anything that comes up. So it's, it's, right. it's worth it. It really is. It's worth, it's worth your time and investment. Even if they're uh, a first time client and they're wanting that full color t-shirt print what we we tend to do is we'll make sure we get that taken care of for them and then uh in hopes in the future that they'll you never know that that client that wants the the one shirt that has a full color you might charge them 25 bucks or whatever the case may be it might turn into something big down the road because they might know somebody and Who then, knows? and and a lot of times, if you establish that relationship, then they're willing to pay more when it's a rush job. Like Amanda, the one with the dirty head shirt. Oh, Amanda, hug and kiss. Oh, we told her to to tune in too. She she's awesome. She she's oh, awesome. oh my god, she's amazing. She's the most interesting looking woman I've ever met in my life. She, she's beautiful. Uh, yeah, she's she, very interesting looking. <laughs> but she started to cry when we gave her her two shirts, and we charged her double what we would normally charge. And because she of a crying. rush, and right. and and she like it, while she was in the office, like gave us a five star review on Yelp, a five star review on Google Review. Oh yeah, and a five star thing on yes. Facebook. Like in like while she's sitting in the office, and then she made me almost pee my pants, like laughing about that stupid bear video. Oh <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, the the bear eating somebody's boat. But uh, I mean, so I, I guess long story short is. Um, the these small clients end up becoming some of our, our good friends and they, they spread the word and it, it's not always about making some sort of huge profit off of everything. No, um, no, it's, who, 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 I'm it's trying been, it's to think sincere the, too. the father's day shirt that we did. Oh, who, the who one that, that I geeked out for Japan with. <laughs> yeah. She brought in ice cream sandwiches. Yeah, she brought us sandwiches. She brought us ice cream sandwiches. It was like, a, it was so actually amazing, but I had just taken my ADD medicine. So I wasn't hungry. And she's like, <laughs> do you want to eat one? I'm like, I really don't. She's like, eat one. I'm like, please don't make me eat an ice cream sandwich right now. It's 11 in the morning, <laughs> but, uh, but she came and she was awesome. I loved her. And it was Diane. Right. Okay. So, That's right. Diane. So Jean has a question. Okay, what is that question, Gene? He needs serious help with his Epson R1900 print 
printer. I, I'm assuming it's a printer. I'm trying to get the roll film to work. The printer keeps feeding the film. Um, what what kind of uh, software are you using with that? Because a, a lot of those, um, if you're using a, a rip software, uh, a lot of times you can tell it that it's a roll and then it will just stop. If um, if you're not using a rip software, I imagine the 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 R1900 will have some sort of software where you can tell it that it's a roll, so that way it doesn't just feed out the whole roll. Um, I mean, it, if that doesn't work out for you and it's not truly like a roll printer, then you may just have to cut it down the sheets towards where it's something that it can work with. Oh, so you have AccuRip. Okay, yeah, well, um, let me take a look at, at AccuRip real quick, and I, I'm pretty sure it has a. Uh, it might not show show me on, on my end because I have an Epson 1430. But yeah, in, even still, it, it has the. Uh, if so, if you go to, uh, if you're using the the Black Pearl version, up at the top right hand corner, click on it and or, or hit. Uh, control or command E to Gene. edit configuration yeah. and and then uh, configure printer turn it to to roll if if that's not selected then that might be your problem he says the um, R1900 is supposed to be able to use the roll yeah yeah and most of them do these days Gene go back and, and check your settings uh, hit that uh, control or command E uh, whatever platform you're on PC or Mac and and uh, make sure when you are using that roll that it's um, you actually have it set the roll instead of sheet. Because if it thinks it's a sheet and it's finished printing, it's just going to want to spit it out. And so it's just going to feed the whole thing out. So l let me know if that helps. Hopefully that helps out. Okay. Well, in the meantime, before we get started on our main... Oh, I went black. Okay. Before we get... <laughs> You know what they say. I never went back. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I totally lost. I forgot what I was going to say. Thank you. Thank you for that. You were saying in the meantime yeah. before we, we get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just want to say. I, I just want to give a quick shout out to Carl. Carl, I forgot what your screen name is, but I love you so very, very, very much. I just sold my first Shop Gnome shirts. A, tw a 12 set design which are for the first time and i am just so excited he's gonna make um, all these kids and high school people wear them and um we had to ex i had to explain to him about like ladies cuts and like what would be inappropriate for a teenage girl to be wearing like at a community event and stuff oh, like yeah. that and um but no the, carl you're awesome like this is the first time i've sold anything that i've actually created so quick shout out to you thank you so much and yay me that's awesome. And, and everybody out there, we, we've taken down your sizes and everything. We're, we're trying to figure out a way to um, kind of sell these on, on a single basis or even uh, Indigenous Graphics. He sent us his size through Instagram, and uh, I, b I believe we're just trading shirts. He's got something that he's, he's sending our way. And, um, man, it, it's been awesome, the, the feedback on the, uh, the Shop Gnome T-shirt, which is I'm gonna right have there. like that's not Shannon, wearing them by like the little way. minions. You, you can <laughs> That's not Shannon right there. But <laughs> I look nothing like that. I am not blonde and I'm not I'm just I don't look like that. <laughs> it's it's funny because I grabbed that graphic off the the internet and uh it was a black t shirt and I put that shirt on there and have been using it. And she's like, That looks nothing like me. <laughs> I'm brunette with curly hair. <laughs> yeah. And she is more. You know what? I'm going to stop it there. <laughs> you, oh, you know what? I just remembered what Carl's screen name is. What is it? Carl. <laughs> is it Carl? No. <laughs> no. Is it Jurassic? Is that Jurassic? No. Sorry, Jurassic. <laughs> Didn't mean to mix you up with somebody else. No, um, Jur Jurassic. Jurassic is the the. The guy that personally knows Cam that emailed us, that was Jurassic. Oh, 
that's let's, Jurassic. Yeah, let's, and Jurassic, let, let's if you're that. tuning in, um, we we appreciate you tuning in, man. You heard our thoughts on everything, and we appreciate what you said. Mm, Thank yeah. you very much. Um, yeah. uh, Richu, <laughs> I can't. I cannot not say that. Richu, 2010. Richu, <laughs> sorry. Um, he asks if we use a lot of public domain graphics. Do we use? Uh, I, I imagine when you say public domain, you're like clip art type of stuff that's out there. Um, no, we don't use a whole lot of um, public domain graphics. There are times, though, we will grab some hey, sort Jason. of um, clip art. And um, if, if let's say, for instance, if they have some sort of budget that they're trying to stick to and really don't have a... They haven't budgeted to, like, pay me to do some sort of graphic design work, then um, one of the quick and easy things to do is, um, the, at least the way that I approach it, is I'll... That I generally kind of have a, a concept in my head, and then I'll, I'll go and grab some sort of clip art. I don't like doing it, but... Yeah, we we do use it occasionally, but not not for everything. So uh, I hope that answers your question. Don't don't be ashamed either if if you can create some sort of um, cool design using clip art, and um, especially if you're kind of starting out and one of your deals is I'm doing your graphic design for free. If if that's the case, then I I would actually just grab whatever clip art and then do something clever with the fonts do something clever with the fonts drop shadows and whatnot there was a, a client that it was what is that gaga ball you, you remember her cynthia cynthia she wanted a, a quick little gaga balls like about eight t-shirts different names oh, on the back yeah. And so I, I grabbed, they wanted a turtle, so I, I grabbed a illustration of a turtle from online, quickly did an, an image trace in Illustrator, put a Gaga ball in his, his hands and put the, the, it's basically an octagon where the kids hit a ball back and forth. And it's, it's almost like dodgeball, but um, it's like more <laughs> of like a, PC. everybody. <laughs> Everybody wants a trophy <laughs> dodgeball and nobody gets like hurt kind of a thing. Um, but Richu, Long story short. Richu says he feels guilty <laughs> sometimes. No, don't don't feel guilty about making something happen. I can't not Turning like it that. around quick. And you can't draw everything from scratch. I mean, come on. I mean, let's be honest. That That's one of the reasons why... Custom Ink is a huge player in our industry because they just have a crap ton of clip art just sitting up that you can grab, place your text on, mess around with the colors, and you're like, okay, yeah, this looks kind of cool. And then it, it's not really about kind of blowing people away. It's not exactly a designer t-shirt. It's 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 kind of like a memorabilia for whatever the, the moment is. And people just they're not really hung up on design as much as actually just getting the shirts and it being kind of relative to whatever the event is. What do you say, Shannon? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, it's like what I was talking about last week, you know, the moment you put it up on the internet, it's free game. Like, cause people are, oh, actually, sure. yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, even like if it's ethically, you know, not advisable to do, which I don't think clip art is, that kind of thing. I'm I'm more thinking about your art that people are selling right now, which is a which is bullshit. But right. honestly, I'm not gonna lie. My favorite though is when I sketch something out and you digitize it, and that becomes the design. Exactly, and I mean that. But it's but everything a, is you know. It's out situational. There for the situational too, because it's you kind of created this piece of art that really is your your own art and it's not necessarily a client <laughs> it's not Sorry. necessarily a, a client that's that's coming okay, to you and I like saying with you. wanting <laughs> and and wanting like a, a custom piece of art so don't don't be ashamed to use some clip art if it makes things faster if, if you can create something from scratch that's even better 
I, I personally have had some of my artwork stolen. Uh, one of the niches that I kind of fell into just um, really and truly the, the autism niche kind of found me because one of the, the first big orders I did, I'm not going to mention my client, but it, it was for an, an autism center and uh, I, I've done a whole bunch of autism designs that were like superhero based, like Superman, Captain America, Spider-Man, Hulk. Uh, first, one of the first times I met Shannon and got her out screen print, it was, it was a Hulk. It was like a Lego Hulk autism design. <laughs> And I've I've put these things he out there and too. SEO'd the crap out of it, and they weren't out there. Those designs weren't out there. Now there's a crap ton of them out there. And the very first T-shirt design that I created is a yo um, inking zinc. I'm dubbing it Volkswagen T-shirt, where it's like the McDonald's arches making the the Volkswagen VW symbol, and I found somebody just blatantly just stealing my artwork over in uh, across the pond in England. Do you know if you and put it in just, Google, like if you put directions to Google to England, it actually says they swim tell you across. To swim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Swim across Go the on. pond. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry. Not at all. Amazing. So, <laughs> I mean, don't, don't shy away from using clip art. Anytime that you create something original, put it out there. Someone's going to steal it anyway. So, Hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mm. Uh, well, did that end negatively? <laughs> I, maybe a, actually a little bit. Uh, um, I, I'll, I'll say um, th there's a phrase that goes around. Uh, good art artists borrow, great artists steal. And I, I don't necessarily agree with that 100%. I think sometimes it, it does, but not all the time. If someone takes my shop gnome image, I will fucking cut them. <laughs> I'm just saying. You heard it. <laughs> you steal her artwork. I'm, I'm a, I am the whitest person you will ever meet, but I will go against we'll, her. <laughs> we'll find you. <laughs> we will. Shannon's going to find you. It's my shop gnome. <laughs> Don't take she, it. <laughs> she's going to fly out there and get an Uber. <laughs> and she's going to... She might not cut you. It'd be more like I probably will I'll probably come up and they go Meh, eh, and cry. It'll, it'll probably be more like a a pie to the face, and pie and then face. she like she will cry. She will cry. Um, Richu, I'm sorry, Rick. I cannot call you Rick. I have to call you Richu. <laughs> it's just so much fun to say. Um, he wants to know if we sell merch by Amazon. <laughs> no! And he just said mercy. <laughs> I think it's because no. I was like, ah! <laughs> um, no. I uh, actually wouldn't hurt anybody. I'm very bad. Non confrontational, I promise. <laughs> no, we, we, we don't sell anything on Amazon. We don't sell merch. You know, I, I tried the, the whole Shopify thing for uh, a, a little while, and I have some of my own t shirt designs. Um, you can see it back over that way. Um, because we're here in Houston, I'm a pretty big Houston Texans, Astros, Rockets fan, even though I don't really have time these days to keep up with what's going on. Uh, I've sold quite a bit of the 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 Astros theme type shirts through Shopify, but it took a lot of marketing too through Facebook, which I really found after I ran the numbers and everything, uh, I really think that probably one of the best things to do if you do have a clothing line is to go out and set up a booth somewhere I, i've done this before because i've i with my first design that was the volkswagen i'm dubbing it logo or, or graphic design that i put together which actually launched me into screen printing i found that when i went to events i went to a volkswagen show and sold those shirts. I made Thank you. twelve hundred dollars that one day just selling T-shirts for ten bucks next to the event show T-shirts where they were charging twenty five. They're like, oh, how much is? And I actually designed the the shirt and printed it, but I think they just wanted too much for the. Vo you got to kind of know your market type of deal. And the the Volkswagen community. If you're you, if your project car is a Volkswagen bug, you're 
kind of probably cheap. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, that's just a, that's a legitimate, um, really, I mean, they're, they're inexpensive cars to do. Anybody can get into it. I mean, if, if you had more money and you wanted to get into uh, something a little more expensive, you had, if your budget was bigger, then you might be doing something that, that uh, not a million, they didn't produce a million cars of. But anyways, back to the point. The point is, is that going out and selling those shirts and doing them for a, a reasonable amount, you know, I, th I think I probably spent maybe two dollars and fifty cents a t-shirt and then i charged ten dollars per t-shirt and it was next to a twenty five dollar shirt and i sold uh it, it was about 120 t-shirts sold out of them ew vanilla LR. hi and so i don't know the, the online marketing or, or selling shirts online you can make it work but you're gonna spend a, a crap ton of money marketing it and drawing traffic to your site you kind of have to have your little sales funnel and all that stuff it is it to me it's easier just to go out to an event or uh, some sort of flea market or something like that uh, wh wherever whatever niche your shirt fits into you'll do a better job getting yourself a 25 dollar table and setting up shop and uh selling your t-shirts that way Giovanni. from my own experience Giovanni has a question. Giovanni LR, he says he's asking he she uh, they're asking if they need a permit for using Astro's logos and name. Hell yes. Io Giovanni is is that is that a is that a dude or a chick? I don't know. Giovanni. Giovanni. <laughs> okay, so the the thing is, we don't actually use that. We don't say Astros. We don't use their logo. You do don't need, dig with the licensing. You thing. you will really? need a a license to be able to print their artwork, but we do not. If you look up at that artwork behind me, like it's all generic kind of. Uh, uh, one of them is, it says hustle. Yeah, he's a man. It says hustle, and then it's it's a uh, a star or crush city or whatever your your whatever the team is that's in your town, they all generally have some sort of little catchphrase without using their actual name or logo. You can come up with something creative. Cause you can get in a bunch of trouble. Right. And, and so then just trouble. use their, their color scheme. And there's not a, there's not a damn thing they can do about it. I think so, what was, yes. what was that one person? I don't remember who was talking about it, but the people that were printing the uh, rocket shirts, like about that, um, they had people supervising the entire thing. They went through and they, after everything was printed, they deleted all the files and then they cut the screen out. Right. So what Shannon is talking about is because the Astros won the World Series here last year, there were a lot of screen printers that were employed here in town with automatic presses. We, we've never seen a, a penny of any kind of official Astros uh, printing, probably because we're a manual, sh manual shop. When we get into automated print, that might be a whole different story. But anyways, um, so a, a shop, one of these small shops that, um, that, we're familiar with and because it's here in Houston and maybe even in your own town, it's kind of like you guys tuning in. It's, it's, um, it's a small community and everybody kind of scratches each other's back backs a little bit. We, we talk and whatnot. They got a contract with the Astros and they had to print about 10,000 shirts and they were on a really tight deadline. They had to crank these out, these shirts out really quick. When they were finished with the job, and even while they were printing the job, someone from the Astros was just standing there in a suit, watching them do the job. Once they were finished with it, they Basically, had the, the, the lead. The, yeah, the man that oversees all that. The man deleted their files and cut up their screens, took took a razor, cut them up because what they found in the past is once they finished printing these 
Houston Astros or whatever the case may be, World Series champion shirts, they would hold on to the screens, print them, and then pass them off as the real deal. Which I thought it was a pretty amazing <laughs> story. I like it too. Knew, Damn knew, the man, save the empire. I, I knew if people. If anyone knows that reference, you get a free shirt. You heard it from Shannon, and she's going to print it herself. If you know the reference, put it in the comments. <laughs> and Shannon, the shop gnome, will print it herself. And if Shannon says, Damn you the man, got it. save the empire. You got it. Leave your, well, you don't have to leave your address in the, the chest. You can just email us, myself, matt at mikeydesigns.com or you will get a Shannon free the shirt shop gnome. Just because I would want to, if I actually met you, I'd want to squeeze you and like nerd out to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> she will glomp on you. She tends to glomp. I glomp. I do. <laughs> she, she likes to nerd out sometimes. And yeah, that I. I I kind of step aside and I was like, okay, y'all want me to uh, leave y'all alone for a moment? Yeah. <laughs> Not in that way, goofball. <laughs> Rambo. Man, I... I, um, I still do look like Rambo. Okay, so Shannon looks like Rambo and right now. And I smell now. like puppies. She smells like puppies because we've been out printing some koozies all day long, which My came sneezes out. smell like kittens. Awesome. So... <laughs> Shannon Shannon and I were talking about something because she is off camera over that way. We were talking. She said, Shannon, do you Sorry, want, Jason, no. Do you want to say what what the deal was that we came up with? I want you to say it. I do no, not I've want to say it. No, I've gone back on it. I've gone back on it. I, I just say no, <laughs> you agreed no, too easily. No. That meant, shit, I, meant, no, I left money on the table. No, 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 no. no. I, I've gone back on it. Come on. Because I, like, that means that I have you left can't, money on the table. You can't wuss out now. I, I, okay. I'm, I'm looking, all right. All okay, right. so it says there's 13 people watching right now. I think consistently we've had about 15 people watching. Okay, okay. So tell them what the deal is that... So, you said so this that is you my, would do. This is my deal. Hold on a second. Go! This is my deal. If we get, for every 50 live viewers that we get, I'll put in an actual face appearance. And I will do the entire show just right alongside Matt. Face and everything. <laughs> you sound thrilled about that. <laughs> well... And if we get to 100 live viewers, I'll go full-time permanent. That's my deal. And? Well, I, I don't know what else, but like for some reason, I'm having really conflicting feelings on having more viewers. Why? <laughs> because I want, I want more viewers. I don't want to go on screen. But, so that's my deal, though. Okay, so the, the whole Rambo reference, she has a, a bandana on. It's hotter than balls outside in the shop. It's humid as, I don't want to drop too many F-bombs, but it's, it's hot. out. It's hot. Not only is it hot, but it's, it's humid as well. So she's got this little bandana on that she ordered from one of our wholesalers. And I keep dropping Rambo references, and she doesn't know. Ugh. Have you been referencing Rambo? I just thought you were yeah. just talking. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool. So, anyways, long story short, if we could get 50 viewers to chime in, I will get another camera and Upward! put it on Shannon's face so that way she is part of the show and I will click the camera back Wait, and what? forth between, what are you doing? between me and you. You gonna what do you put mean? Yeah, a camera right on your face. Steven Seagal's face? No, wait, where does Steven Seagal <laughs> come into the I picture? I got very distracted by the feed. Yes. <laughs> I'm just wondering. You see what I'm dealing with here? Oi. Steven, Steven it's not Seagal. that hard. <laughs> hey, Shannon. Wait, I, I'm Steven I need, Seagal. <laughs> I, I need you to help me stack shirts. <laughs> Let me roundhouse punch you what, in the we're, face. Or we're taking a space shuttle to <laughs> outer space? No. I don't know what's going on No, right we're now. stacking. Shut I up. need you to stack <laughs> t-shirts. So, you can't see it right now, but I'm blushing. <laughs> so 50 viewers, guys, will get a camera on Shannon. 100. And this is all times 10. Uh, <laughs> we'll get her on permanently. 
So share our live videos. <laughs> Help us build build this this live channel that we have going on this live feed, and we'll get Shannon on. And seriously, oh, yes. damn the man, save the empire! If anyone it can actually happen. tell me what that is from, I will make them a shirt personally. It's it's gonna happen. It'll be a bit terrible, but I will make it. I don't care if it if it takes a year, <laughs> but it's gonna happen. I, I I was this close to convincing her to get on camera. We'll see what uh, oh homeboy does Hi, over Ivan. on his channel, which anyway he's cool. Ivan. Ivan. But at the same time, we got our own thing going on, so Wee! It's, it's like the difference between uh, the competition with Clear Channel stations competing. I don't know why, bit. but for the first like syllable of that, I thought it was going to be something completely different. I was like horrified. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I was going to say? I'm not going to say it on air. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all, this is all friendly uh, yeah, competition. Yeah, th there's also <clears> time <throat> and place. And, and for you know, all I know, eventually my mother will watch. <laughs> this is true. She will. She might be watching right now. No, she's not. Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mama Jujube. <laughs> okay. Well, Shannon, is okay, there... Okay, it has been four... We have spent 40 minutes just chatting. It, it has been. It's So, Shannon, is are there any other questions that you have seen? Mm-mm. Otherwise, we're going to go to the topic that we want to talk about. Oh, Shannon? well, Rybeat says that once we get 50 sales on the shirts, she needs to show the face. Okay. All right. Fine. You know what? We Dude, get 50, well, we, if we get 50 sales on the shirts, Carl's not included. <laughs> no, 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 no. Carl no. is not included. You can't agree to that. It is a compromise. In a good compromise, everyone ends up unhappy. You know, you, no, that that's... <laughs> the, so, how many shirts did... Carl, order. 12. Okay, so we're 12 down. No, we're not 12 down. Call us down, Cal. Indigenous but I, graphics. But I will agree to that. I will agree to that. Where, if you guys where, get 50 shirts, I'll make, it, I'll make an appearance. Okay, okay, so last show, you wrote down a <gasps> list of everybody. Oh, ah, I just didn't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's from Empire Records. <laughs> but, oh, no, that's cheating. That's cheating because he says it's his wife that told him. <laughs> oh, well, well, come on. <laughs> you, if you had to Google it, then <laughs> no, his wife said it. Or my hmm. boss, the wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's the boss. Speaking of, speaking of bosses. Okay, you know what? Um, uh, it's I'll up to Shannon. You... I'll, I'm going to leave this you one up what? to Shannon. Out of respect for your wife, I'll do it because that is awesome that somebody knows that movie. What what uh what size t-shirt does she want? <laughs> yes, does she yes. want a ladies cut? What uh does she want a softer t-shirt like a soft style? Your screen printer so let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, e email Shannon at shannon at mikeydesigns.com s h a n n o n at m i k e y d e s i g n s dot com. You like that? Bow. Everyone at Starbucks always calls me Janet. <laughs> email Janet at. No, don't email <laughs> Janet. I don't know who Janet is, but I keep taking her coffee. <laughs> There's another one that they call you as well. I I don't even know. Janet's the one that sticks out. Oh my God! There's okay. Ladies cut nine. Does nine? I don't think that exists. Artisan. <laughs> Come on, Artisan. You're killing us. A nine to... <laughs> Extra small, small, medium, large. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, we have been dicking Extra around. Extra large to XL. No, but really, we've been dicking around this entire time, and we actually did want to talk about something. Okay, so we have a With topic our last that... <laughs> God, we're terrible at these tangents. A, a topic that we're going to talk about is let me roll. Let me. Kick, I figured, artisan. I'm a, I'm really excited about. I've been working on this Shmedium. all week gotcha. for this uh, this topic, and so here we go. We're gonna huh? we're gonna kick our little video. Yeah, I, I had nothing really. Was, what were you looking for? That, that would have been that would have been cool. It would have been if I had like I feel some like we're Ill prepared some little um, video that I just rolled there. Maybe I need to do that kind of stuff. You know what? I'm gonna play a stupid clip from Mac and Me every single time. <laughs> or, 
I really hope you don't, because that 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 once was enough. Just you showing <laughs> that. Okay. Anyways, oh my god. Like okay. seriously, it was two minutes ago that I tried to start this. Okay, so what we really <laughs> wanted to talk about is kind of managing stress when you're for for example, for Shannon Shannon and I, we we work side by side or we're what you would consider a mom and pop shop and how you handle that that stress ultimately the the stress that that comes with work can pour over into your personal life just a little bit but we'll kind of talk about how we've kind of just managed a little. A, a little bit <laughs> enough enough towards where and one of the reasons we've thought about this was um that show what's it called kitchen nightmares right mm-hmm. and they have husband and wife teams where they they have a, a restaurant and everything's hunky dory with the relationship when things are going right and things are running smoothly smoothly blah, 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 blah. so really and truly even the things I, I feel like things are running pretty damn smoothly for ourselves wouldn't you agree shannon um, yes, I would, but I'm not going to <laughs> agree that this last week wasn't a nightmare, just stress level wise. Okay, so the the operations running smoothly. Yes, but it's the, running very smoothly. The amount of work that's sitting on our shoulders is very stressful. And it just climbed and climbed and climbed all week. And it did. I just like just looking at all the boxes. So and knowing there's going to be 15 more. We, we probably have about 2,000 shirts that we have to get through this 25 next... 25 to 3. This next week, week oh. and a half. Okay. Excuse me. I spoke too soon. Yes. About 2,000 in the next week or two. Right. Week, week and a half. And so all this, this work piles on. And one of the things about it, it's it's great that all the work is piling on. It's a good and, problem to and have. And one of the the things that I, I I tell Shannon is I'm like we probably need some more help if we're getting that that overwhelmed. And because it's the the two of us, it's it's hard to imagine. Well, it's not hard to imagine bring somebody else in. It's 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 that's another added Bye, stress factor and. Uh, making or you know it could be someone part-time that is reclaiming screens or, or helping screen print and all that while we continue to, to take orders and all that but even even in that itself just kind of adds more stress to the the whole factor of, of everything Aww, that's going on and so Shannon what what is your take on some of the things that have been stressing you out and how do you go about managing that stress well okay well take it with a grain of salt because i'm still trying to practice what i preach because <laughs> uh last week we only fight we only fight when we're stressed out with work that's really like i got very lucky with finding somebody very compatible and uh, that i was able to work with but we do fight when we're stressed um my main things is it's it's the big thing is positive attitude just keeping in mind like things that are good and stuff i think i just remind i just take some time off i like i watch something stupid i make myself laugh or you know i have a list of like in my head of like you know stupid little facts there is a freaking penguin in sweden that is knighted that's amazing that's so cute <laughs> bunnies give kisses cows have best friends um everything is so much better in my life than it used to be and when i'm like pissed off about friggin like not getting an order from delivery jack in the box was just like so disgusting in the first place <laughs> i just remember you know that is really not a big deal it's just it's a positive attitude it's like because if you keep thinking negatively and you uh you let it overwhelm you it just everything just starts to snowball snowball until you know everything it, it just overwhelms you you can't function and you want to just burn the whole fucking place down Mostly. Maybe not the wow. varsity part, but <laughs> that's that might just be me. Why why would you do that? <laughs> it just gets like but like you know, it's no, just like I, the it's, it's just a positive it's attitude. An, an it's expression. the mental way of thinking about it. You know, everything it, even when, even in the hardest times when it really does just fucking suck. It's not 
permanent. You look look towards the future. Hell, I was like yelling at Matt, and I told you, you know, we were fighting uh, because we fight when we were stressed, and that like last week was really stressful, and we were fighting, and he's like, and you're yelling at me, and I was like, yo, uh, yeah, I am, and you know what? I'll yell at you the next time. And I loved that because it kind of struck me about me. like <laughs> there was going to be a next time. It's just like you know, it's. Like, How do you go about handling it though? I'll probably yell at you a little bit, but then we'll both, like, you know, talk it out. Like, we always right. do. Right. I mean, I know how you handle it, but it's it's all up to how you you take it personally and, and kind of handle all that as well. And I, I can't necessarily say that we, at times, handle it the best. We we, we do our, our best, and we we get really cranky, and there might be a little bit of a shouting match here and there. But it, it, at the end, we, we kind of come down from that. We we get together, and we figure out a solution, and we just press on, really. There's no other choice. Like, you know, either either start forming some positive thoughts and attitudes about, like, what you're doing and, like, the situation you're in and realize that it could be a lot worse or and move forward, or you just let yourself drown in them and you sink, and then the business sinks. Like, no business works well. If someone is just stressed out uh, to the point that they just hate everything, those businesses fail. So the, one of the key things about keeping a business floating and keeping your clients happy is to just always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> no, you, you got to kind of kick it gospel style. Actually, that was Monty Python. I said, can I, can I get a amen? That is so loud. Oh, oh can I, I okay, said, okay. can I get okay, a okay. amen? Oh my God. No, you don't, we don't, no, not like a Baptist church and kind oh, of one Lord. way to, to <laughs> the heart. Stop. The heart. Talk. <laughs> Sorry, I, I know it was probably just oh my God. clipping that moment. <laughs> Things were, were, we're clipping. I was trying but, to make um, a serious point. Thank you. <laughs> you are. Uh, so um, one of the ways oh, that I, I tend to, uh, to 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 kind of ground myself, like like Shannon was saying, take take yourself a break, watch something fun, something that that feels good to you. Me too. I have an answer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> something something that that feels good to you, even if you you take a. You know, if, if you're if you're an employed person, it, by law, at least here in Texas, every two or three hours, you you have the right to a little fifteen minute break. And so that that's what we tend to do. We will bust our ass. We'll we'll get a, a bunch of stuff done, and then we'll we'll take what Shannon likes to call a mini. I learned that from right? my marketing. There you uh, go. Career. And so we'll we'll take a mini. I might watch something funny. I might go motor boating. I might uh I might go skating on Bye my you, my honey. rollerblades, which is absolutely full of shit because I don't do either of those things. I don't think you have rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I I, I might see a pair of rollerblades. I, I might play a, a guitar or one of my basses or something like that or or kind of watch some of my favorite bands play live. Something that kind of brings like a, a good feeling to myself and I like go ahead what were we gonna say I used to really really love all my minis I would uh, love playing a game called Hanafuda <laughs> well, you just don't like it because I beat you all the time oh, otherwise God. otherwise known as Koi Koi like that game is amazing Koi Koi, yes. but uh, yeah I would just go out and I would take a break I and still have, I... <laughs> have no concept of how that fucking game works <laughs> I beat him every single time, and it's amazing. No, 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 no. This is the only game I can beat him at. (laughs) Okay, she she's lying. That is very, very, very relaxing for me. She's lying a little bit because (laughs) I'll get on there and I have no idea how to play the game, and when I kick her ass, she gets so pissed off. (laughs) I'm a little competitive, but but anyways, in any regard, it's relaxing. (laughs) Everyone like just, I think it's important to take some time, like when everything is really stressful, is just to sit back for a little bit you know take some perspective god take some fucking perspective because 
no matter oh, yeah. what situation you're in, somebody out there is doing a hell of a lot worse. And so you should be grateful for this the things true. you have and you need to remember that and do the things that will make you happy. Like, Shannon's I like reading fun facts about animals. <laughs> Shannon's, have pers- best friends. Shannon's perspective, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but you Shannon's fine? perspective uh, last night while we were working late. Oh, the gym too. Yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, the, the gym is great. However, when you're sweating your butt off and you're doing a lot of manual physical labor, uh, although I will say that the gym actually is great because you... Uh, you get a good workout in your your endorphins and all that stuff kick in. Is it is it the endorphins that kick in, Shannon? I there, don't know. I used to do a, seven miles a day. Th- there's certain uh, I believe it's treadmill. endorphins and all that. It, it's it's whatever I that heals your body. It's it's almost like kind I was of just a <laughs> in, instead of <laughs> getting liquored up or or getting high, you, you go and get a good workout on, and you, your body naturally just kind of makes you you feel good. It, it relieves your anxiety, stress, and all that. And I mean, that's, that's something we probably need to be doing a little more often, but a, a lot of the time, like for myself personally, I'm, I'm always on my, I don't think I really sit on my ass a whole lot. I'm always doing something. I have a standing desk. She has a standing desk, that's although there, there wouldn't be nothing wrong with going and, uh, heading up the gym. We might have to, to do that and, and <laughs> look at the, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Rambo. You and your <laughs> fucking headband. He, he has a really good point. No, Actually, he does, no, he exercising is He has an, he has an excellent great. point. He has an excellent point. I'm like, don't you drag my ass to the gym. Like, there was a reason that I, I got a treadmill. I, did, I used to do, like, five, seven miles a day on a fucking treadmill, and it was great. Well, I didn't feel like it was great at the time, but, hey, I got to watch a lot of anime. So, woo. But that's true. But there, there now, was, don't you drag my ass to a gym. There, now, there was something treadmill. else. I want there, my treadmill. There was something else that that I was gonna say that I, I kind of lost lost track of. Um, okay, so I know what it was. This this past and, and I'll, I'll, I, I plan on doing at least a, just a slight little bit of a video log of what I did with this it's not a, a video log of the entire process just the, the end results i have a client that's across the way and, uh, that owns a business a flooring business and he wanted to have some graphics uh, applied to his trailer so i did some vinyl graphics for him he because last week it was raining all week he, he brought his trailer over friday had probably about 80% of the all the graphics plotted out. I, I needed the trailer to be here in order to finish some of this stuff. So he, he drops it off Friday, first thing in the morning, and I start going to town on, on these graphics that I'm doing for this trailer. And <laughs> I'm, I'm like drinking this and it's like i can hear it in the fucking microphone i'm sure people can hear it too i apologize so anyways uh so i I was doing these these trailer graphics it's just a a single solid color simple type stuff but really it was kind of going to be like more of a portfolio type piece and it is hot went out there he dropped it off at about 9 30 started doing my thing and even at 9.30 here in Houston, I mean, the, the sun is, is pretty much at 1 o'clock. And the, the way our shop is, it, it, it's, the sun sets over where, where this window is behind me. What right probably could have just took me less than a day. Took me a, a day and a half because I was going out there. The wind's blowing the the sun's beating down on me and it it was it was it was rough and it it really kind of it stressed me out it it stressed Shannon out to to the point towards where it was it was just like we're not going to do any more of these trailer graphic type of (laughs) situations and And I, (laughs) I I thought to myself I'm like that's not really 
the type of uh, that, that's not really what for me personally. And, and I, I, I know where Shannon is coming from because it was physically exhausting not not only from the heat, but the the sun beating. You notice this nice new tan I got going on. This ain't no spray tan. <laughs> I I was out in the sun and I I, I was putting t shirts over my head and, and all this stuff. But you the sun was bandana. still. Yeah, I, I did steal your bandana. The the sun was beating down on my head, and, and so I, I I put these trailer graphics on, and it, it came out great. It took longer than I thought it would, but at the same time. It completely wore me down, and I was doing it pretty much throughout Saturday. This so so really and truly the the only we, we hadn't had a, a a day of real true downtime, and you need to have some downtime. Which we taking a, a page from our own book, we did not really have a whole lot of downtime this week. Uh, one of our clients needed some T-shirts or or just wanted their T-shirts. Uh, by Saturday or Sunday. He even showed up while I was doing the graphics on this trailer. And Sunday, I just had to, to take some time off, aside from working on the car. I, I, I felt oh like Lord, we had some reclaimed about 20 screens. So, so really and truly, it, it really wasn't a whole lot of downtime, but it, it wasn't dealing with a whole lot of clients and i don't think we we you better believe wednesday by the way guys happy fourth of july uh we're not gonna we probably i'm not sure we're gonna be uploading a, a video anytime soon just because we're we're slammed and then so we're tomorrow's tuesday we're we're going to we're we're definitely taking Wednesday off. We'll we'll take a we're going to take a vacation here sometime in the near future. So that that's one of the things too with, with stress management is is uh, we we need a vacation and you probably could use a vacation at times as well. And that's that's one of the things when you own your own business or even if you're doing this as a part time gig, you need to be sure that you have some downtime because take everybody. Care of you. It, yes, thank you. I, I couldn't have summed it up better myself. Is take care of yourself first. If if you're overwhelmed, and your 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 physical health, your your mental well being is not where it should be because you're overwhelmed. Or you're with even everything. like you know your relationships with other people are starting to fray just because right. you're like snappy and just short tempered. Cut cut some of that stuff off and. Uh, Really and truly, I mean, it, like for us, I think we're we're starting to tip the point towards where we could probably use an extra person, either that or yeah. a, an automat or, or an automated machine would make things a lot uh, go a lot quicker. I'd it, rather an unpaid intern. <laughs> an unpaid intern, yeah, that that's something we've considered as well. An, an unpaid intern. We'll figure we'll figure it out. We're getting to that point, so though, that we're gonna need it. So we're mm. we're at, at the point towards where it's the stress awesome. level is is getting to the point towards where it's like, what do we do because we're getting overwhelmed and it's it's uh, affecting Yvonne, our well being. Ivan, Ivan, our our. At Congratulations. Times, our relationship. That's awesome. But our relationship is strong. Of our, course our, it is. Our business is going really well. And these are... This is the only man really I can ever good, be around for 24 hours. Really good. Uh, Every day. I, I think the, the problem that we have is, is a problem that a lot of people wish that they had. And so <laughs> for that, I, we feel blessed. We are blessed. And it's kind of like... Um, I don't know. I don't want to compare it to my personal first world problem. <laughs> 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 okay, so when Getting I was, I like, yeah, I um, there was a brief stint there when I had to move back in with my parents because just financially things weren't going well, and they served steak every night, and they served. Did me you a, say or, steak? every Sunday? Excuse me. They served it every Sunday. I got a filet mignon after like. I don't know, I think it was like a month and a half. I was, I had the ultimate first world problem. 
I am so tired of filet mignon. If my parents <laughs> were, feel sorry for me. had served me filet mignon <laughs> every night, you know what they fed us? They, they fed us Totino's pizza, <laughs> fucking kid cuisines. Okay, okay, okay. Well, who's that? I'm a- just saying, I know it's a first world problem. Marie I know it was Antoine like the, the or, or whatever it is where it's Marie like. Marie Callender. Marie Callender. Anyways, we need to wrap this up. It's been an um, it's been we a are, over an hour. We're going to wrap this up right <laughs> now. And so we really appreciate go, everybody Richu. that has tuned <laughs> in. Don't forget to subscribe. It's over Richu. this way. I've been to the Bahamas. Didn't like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Go over to our Facebook page. Give our, our page a like. Follow us on Instagram. Twice. You follow yeah if, if you can follow us twice that'd be great <laughs> yeah, actually i was referencing the bahamas thing but. oh you've been to the bahamas twice fucking <laughs> first world problems if i don't it's the most boring place ever really i i don't want my dad has a picture of me and my cousin asleep on the tour bus filet mignon <laughs> in the bahamas what the you should be the most stress-free character in the world. And yet my hair is falling out. <laughs> you know what that is. If you say age, I will punch you. <laughs> I I wasn't going to say age. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I'm just going to end it there. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We, we really appreciate it. Don't forget to share our videos as well. 50 subscribers gets Shannon on camera. Or 50 t-shirts. You heard it from her yourself. Shannon, go ahead and say goodbye to everybody. We're getting out of here. Okay. I love it, everybody out there. And thank you so much for tuning in. And just remember, bunnies give kisses. And somewhere in Sweden, a penguin is a knight. <laughs> like, a, with K with a knight. <laughs> I mean it. It really. Okay. That's, that's my ending. Oh love my you. God. <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>